Hey guys, I just wanted to introduce you guys to this. Now, I got very, very excited because um, there was a plant-based coffee drink out there. It was a caramel one. It didn't say salted caramel. And I got very, very excited because I think salted caramel is the demon's sweet. But, um, yeah, I got really excited about this. And as an Aussie living over here, I am used to having some really damn fine iced coffee drinks okay now this can i just say is one of the worst things i've ever put in my mouth in my in my life the first thing that hits you is there is no flavor except for a bitterness a nasty nasty bitterness it just sits on your mouth it just tastes like some kind of bitter chemical additive that is just nasty. You can barely taste the coffee. There is no flavor of the caramel. It is, you can't even taste that it's almond milk, honestly. If anything, it just tastes like water with chemicals in it. I'm not gonna lie to you. Now, the ingredients are water, sugar, almonds, coffee extract, calcium phosphate, stabilizers, and the stabilizers are gallon gum, carboxymethyl cellulose, um and xanthan gum they've also got an emulsifier which they've used lecithin from sunflowers the salt inulin potassium iodide flavorings vitamin b12 vitamin b2 and vitamin d2 now it does say it contains no artificial colors or flavors which is fine and nothing actually on that list is not plant-based or relatively natural or coming from a natural thing the problem is the balance within the drink itself. Like I said, you can't taste the coffee. You can't taste the caramel. It just tastes like a watery, mushy, nasty hospital drink. Honestly, that's what it tastes like. You know, if you have to go um, for one of those um, cameras in places you really don't want to talk about things, that tastes like that. This is the drink, this tastes like the drink that you have to have the night before you have that procedure. It's not nice. As does, seriously, I can make a better one in my kitchen than you guys have made in your factory and even starting from almonds. In fact, I might actually just do that myself because I am sick to death of buying these flight flavored drinks thinking oh do you know what that'd be a really nice treat because to me i get that maybe i get something like this maybe once a month once every two months or something if i can be bothered um or you know if i want to put that sort of money into buying something like this but honestly it's not worth the one pound 52 it costs to get it it's not it really isn't you guys need to up your game if you're not sure about how to make flavoured drinks, you need to go to Australia. You need to find out from them how to do it. They don't add half your shit that they put in them. They are properly natural drinks. And in a, if you want to argue the fact of the heat, it's Australia. They get to 50 degrees, mate. And they're still having like fresh milk drinks and fresh plant-based drinks, flavoured drinks over there without any issues. So, you know, it's not that. It's just, you guys are lazy. You guys are lazy and you think you're getting it right and you're really, really not. I get using coffee extract, but is it really such a push to actually use proper coffee coffee? Is it? You know, um, honestly, yeah, it's not nice. Try again, try again, honestly. Try again.